5 tips to start your motorcycle or scooter up again after being parked up for a while. My scooter has been parked up for a good chunk of 5 years. You can see I'm removing the cover. It was parked up under cover in a dry environment. Already you can see the brakes are seized up. I'm going to give you 5 tips today to get you back on the road. Number 1 is going to be your battery. Make sure you either get a new battery or charge up your old battery if possible. And if you've got a multimeter you want over 12 volts in order to be able to start the bike. So that's number 1. Number 2 is going to be your fluids. Oil on this was already low so I drained the oil and I put new oil in. Check your fuel, smell your fuel, that's another one, a bonus tip there. I removed the coolant and flushed out all the old coolant. new coolant I'm putting in you can see here the scooter looks different because I've removed the front panel so already that's a few things that would make you happy to be in a good place to start you can see when I was pushing the bike up the brakes were seized I had to remove the front and rear caliper to check the pistons and the pads so they will need to be sorted out the back pist uh, back pads were just non-existent you'll see as I remove the caliper the pistons look disgusting because they're obviously rotting and the pads you can see there's actually metal on metal so in this case I rebuilded the pistons there is a separate video about each of these in detail that you can look at but these are just your tips to look at these things when you're trying to start your bike because when you're riding your brakes are going to be your main thing to stop you I put new pads in the back which you can see here and we're going to get some uh, reservoir cleaner for the cylinder the master cylinder this is the old dot for brake fluid which would have been obviously out of date uh, sitting there for that along is probably taken up moisture so I cleaned out the reservoir and we got some new dot for fluid in there so that would be your tip four make sure your pads are sorted and your fluid now let's go for that first start and see if we're good to go it has to be a record I think under three minutes giving you five tips We're gonna just take this for a little spritz and make sure we are good. Different bikes, number of things to check. This is a good starting point. 